Najee Harris is at the center of a major controversy in Pittsburgh. After provoking the fans in the pregame against the Colts, the Steelers' running back had a disappointing performance that raised several criticisms about his ability to read the field. Chris Hoke, former player and Super Bowl champion, made one thing very clear to Harris, wait until you see what he had to say. And that's not all. New updates have come out about the Steelers' possible negotiation with the Las Vegas Raiders star. Leave that like to strengthen the channel. The Pittsburgh Steelers headed into Week 4 against the Indianapolis Colts, with high hopes for running back Najee Harris. While Harris hadn't yet had a breakout game, he had been running with power and securing key downs in previous matchups. However, his performance against the Colts raised some concerns. Before the game, Harris appeared fired up, even flipping off the crowd on the Jumbotron. This seemed to spark the Colts' defense, with linebackers EJ Speed and Zaire Franklin later mentioning on their podcast that it gave them extra motivation. Harris has faced growing criticism, with some feeling he hasn't lived up to his first-round pick status, particularly when it comes to explosive plays. Chris Hoke, a former Steelers Super Bowl champion, shared his thoughts on Harris during an interview with 93.7 The Fan. Sometimes I worry about the vision of Najee Harris, Hoke said. He noted that there were plays in the Colts game where Corderell Patterson made quicker decisions and cut back into open gaps, while Harris forced runs into tougher lanes. Hoke expressed doubts about Harris's ability to read the field effectively, though he acknowledged that Harris still plays a valuable role in the offense. He's more of a power runner than a jump-cut accelerate guy, Hoke added. Despite Harris's physical style, which no one questions, Franklin and Speed jokingly called him soft on their podcast. There's also uncertainty about Harris's future, as the Steelers declined his fifth-year option in the 2024 offseason. Although general manager Omar Khan has hinted that Harris could still stay in Pittsburgh, it's unclear what will happen after 2024. Harris struggled against the Colts, rushing 13 times for just 19 yards with his longest carry going for 5 yards. Meanwhile, Patterson, despite exiting the game early due to injury, rushed 6 times for 43 yards, showcasing more explosiveness. Fans are starting to worry as other running backs find success, while Harris continues to be contained. He has been reliable, consistently rushing for over 1,000 yards each season and never missing a game due to injury. However, Steelers fans are hoping to see more from him soon. Harris will have another chance to prove himself in Week 5 against the Dallas Cowboys. What did you think of Najee Harris's performance? Did he really fall short of expectations? Leave your opinion in the comments. And speaking of expectations, we have some hot news that could change the Steelers' offense. When Pittsburgh Steelers fans learned that Brandon Ayuk re-signed with the San Francisco 49ers before the 2024 season, many thought the wild speculation around star receivers was over. However, this week, Las Vegas Raiders standout Devontae Adams has sparked fresh trade rumors, causing a flurry of speculation online about where he might land next. Unsurprisingly, the Steelers are emerging as one of the top contenders in these conversations. Devin McCourty and Mike Florio from Asterisk NFL on NBC Asterisk recently weighed in on the Adams trade rumors, analyzing potential destinations. McCourty, a former New England Patriots defensive back, sees Pittsburgh as a natural fit for Adams, praising head coach Mike Tomlin's ability to handle big personalities. I would love to see him go to the Steelers, McCourty said. They have a strong figurehead in Mike Tomlin, and you give him a guy like Devontae Adams. We saw what Tomlin did with Antonio Brown, Le'Veon Bell. Yes, those teams fell short sometimes, but looking at those players in other places, you realize just how much Tomlin managed. Not only did they win games, but he handled those personalities. It's no secret the Steelers need a top-tier receiver. Despite Tomlin's confidence in his current group, there's been some unease. Quarterback Justin Fields has shown improvement, but he still needs more reliable targets. The fact that two tight ends and a running back are among the team's top receivers speaks volumes. While George Pickens has star potential, he can't carry the load alone. He needs another playmaker to either complement his skills or divert attention from him, and Adams, despite being 31, fits that role perfectly. There's even buzz that Adams is open to the idea of joining the Steelers. McCourty believes that Adams, paired with Tomlin, could elevate Pittsburgh's offense to new heights. Just think of Mike Tomlin and Devontae Adams together. They would get on the same page quickly, and that partnership could push the team towards success. Tomlin would be able to keep the focus on winning games without letting any distractions get in the way. 
Florio echoed McCourty's sentiment, noting that Tomlin's ability to manage players is something NFL coaches and GMs frequently talk about. He said it wasn't just with Antonio Brown, but a number of challenging personalities, and people around the league often wonder, how did Tomlin keep this guy from being that way? It's clear that Adams would be a huge asset to the Steelers, and fortunately for Pittsburgh, he's open-minded about his next move. According to Ian Rappaport, Adams is considering several teams, including the Steelers, New York Jets, New Orleans Saints, and Baltimore Ravens. While some analysts speculate that the Jets or Saints might have the edge due to Adams' previous connections with Aaron Rodgers and Derek Carr, the allure of playing for Tomlin could make Pittsburgh an attractive destination. With these two pieces of news, it's hard to be too optimistic, right? Najee Harris still has a lot to prove, and if the Steelers do bring in Devontae Adams, it could be his last chance to prove himself. Tomlin knows how to handle stars, but is it worth the risk? The situation is far from simple. For more discussions like this, click on the next video that will appear on your screen.